Hurricane Matthew, and we got a new tropical storm, Tropical Storm Nicole. I'm going to put all photos and videos sent in on hold because we got special breaking coverage here. Take a look across the Atlantic Basin here. We've got Matthew just crossed the peninsula on the west end here, the southwest portion of Haiti, causing tremendous amount of damage, storm surge, and maintaining and packing a punch here as a Category 4 as it crossed those mountainous terrains. So this shows how well organized this storm is. It's got great outflow, and it's going to continue towards the Bahamas, eastern tip of Cuba. And look at this. As I've been saying for days, Florida is really in the crosshairs here. A lot of the models shifting further west, leading the way, the GFS, surprisingly. And the euro has been starting to slowly follow suit here with a trend more towards the west as if, of course, you see Nicole out here, just southeast of Bermuda, and the ridge of high pressure out here, it is pushing Matthew to the east. And I'll show you a graphic here to illustrate that point. But nevertheless, it's going to hug the coast. It could, at this point, it could make, make a quick landfall in Florida. We're not ruling that out. So if you live from, say, the Keys up to Miami, all the way up to St. Augustine, and Jacksonville, you're going to want to really take really heed to this because there could be problems here up and down the east coast of Florida here. And then look at this South Carolina and North Carolina here. There could be problems. And then up the east coast for later next week, this thing could wallop those areas as well. So this thing's going to remain a monster system. It's not going away anytime soon, and it's not going to lose much intensity, especially over the next three, four days where it stays a major hurricane, and it could stay up a major hurricane up until it's landfall along the mainland. So we're going to watch for that here at Meteo Mark. I'll keep you in tune. As I said, Nicole is out here, and take a look at this graphic illustrating here. We've got of course, this trough across the east portion of the United States is not kicking in very quickly. So here across portions of the Atlantic, we got that ridge building west with Nicole. Nicole is helping push this ridge into Florida, and that's going to help steer Matthew into Florida here, and that's going to be a major problem. Hurricane Watch is already up in effect, and we will watch and see how close this comes to Florida. Take a look at that. That center of circulation moving up the coast around the periphery of this very strong high and of course now we've got Nicole out here which will really play into Matthew's hand of helping hug the east coast and then move up the east coast there could be tremendous amounts of rain I'll show you a rainfall graphic shortly take a look at Matthew here very good outflow it did cross the basically the peninsula here of southwestern portions of Haiti west of Port-au-Prince and the system did start to lose the eye on satellite. The eye is still there, I assure you. A lot of central de dense overcast filled in, but it will reemerge once it is able to recirculate, and it didn't really weaken much. Pressure is really still very low in the 930 range, and it's going to really intensify here a little bit into the Bahamas. So the Bahamas, really under the gun here. Taking a look at, of course, we're starting off with your precipitation outlook across the United States. Take a look at this. We've got back east here. That's our really trouble spot from Florida on up to the Carolinas and eventually up to the Hudson River Valley into New England. This is where we could, especially across the Carolinas, East Florida, tend to as much as 15 inches of rain. Wilmington over to Cape Hatteras all the way down the coast towards Miami. So we're going to be watching for that all the way up into New England, Hudson River Valley. Look for at least a couple inches on eastward to New England. I'll keep you posted on how much falls here. Take a look at that weather pattern, that, that trough really not making it back east to push Matthew out because that ridge is so blocking here, pushing Matthew. And of course, Nicole will keep spinning out here as well, playing into Matthew's hand of helping it hug the coast. Let's take a look. Of course, we're starting off with your uh, drought monitor across the northeast. Still very bad drought, especially across New England. That could start to break with Matthew here. Take a look at your leaf foliage. A lot of this could get blown off the trees if Matthew comes up the coast here. And let's take a look at your forecast starting off with your uh, midpoint of the week, Wednesday. Looking really nice across the northeast. We're finally clearing out. Temperatures getting into the 60s and even the 70s for the Susquehanna River Valley here into your Thursday. Look at that high pressure really building in across the northeast. 
keeping it really nice, but trouble is brewing to the south here into your Friday. Look at this. We start to see maybe a little bit of moisture out here over the Atlantic, starting to move north, just south of Delmarva here. And look at this Saturday. We move in from the south. Matthew will start to show its effects here across the coastal areas, inland towards Hagerstown, Harrisburg. You could even get some rain up here in portions of the Huston and Susquehanna River Valley. So watch for that. We could be looking at a big question mark for your weekend into early next week for the Northeast as Matthew could really seriously impact the area. We're going to watch for that here at Meteor Mark in 10 seconds. I'll have a five day outlook from my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York, Northeast Pennsylvania. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Meteor Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Meteor Mark. Comment Twitter at WX Northeast during Google Plus Meteor Mark. Here's your five day. Look at this starting off with Wednesday through the weekend. Really nice. Look at this fall like pattern, even Indian summer like. But look at this. We get towards the weekend. This is where we could see the effects from Hurricane Matthew. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.